Okay, we're checking out a new game called Bellright. It's a demo version right now on Steam uh, in the next fest. So let's give it a try. This is the first time I've tried this out. Uh, let's see. Eh, we'll just go with the character they have for us. Uh, oh, we have to enter the name. Okay. Mark of Northern Ants. Okay. Took a little while for it to finally load. I thought it would f have frozen, but it did finally load up. Haven't really seen much about the game yet. It looks kind of like a survival building game uh, set in like medieval times. So it'll be interesting. I'm not sure like who the bad guys are. I'm thinking it's a realistic, not gonna be like aliens or zombies in the middle evil time or anything like that I think it's um you're gonna be building communities and you're gonna be fighting bandits and things like that long ago the legend of the bell right echoed throughout the lands yet none told the tale as you are about to hear it in the woods one fateful day the royal twins set out for a hunt tragedy struck when an errant arrow claimed the life of the young prince. Our hero, a mere child, witnessed this fateful act. But the princess caught sight of our hero in the woods and accused the innocent child of the deed, casting false blame for her brother's demise. Our hero informed their father about the situation, sensing the danger that was to come. The father warned the people of the impending storm. Enraged by his son's death, the king ordered the execution of every child resembling our hero, spurring fear and rebellion among his subjects. Thanks to the father's foresight, a triumphant uprising flourished, safeguarding children's lives. The father, along with a butcher and a shepherd, emerged as leaders, forging an unbreakable alliance. Yet betrayal tainted their unity, leading to an ambush where the father fell. A stranger saved our hero, whisking them away to the borders of the kingdom. There, they learned of their father's demise and the need for anonymity moving forward. With the alliance shattered, the kingdom entered a dark era. The vengeful king unleashed his fury on his own people, imprisoning and tormenting those who dared to rise against him. Years passed, and upon the king's demise, the princess ascended to the throne. But danger still loomed, and an assassin targeted our hero, finding them in their new life. Defeating the would-be killer, our hero discovered a contract, not naming them as the target, but their father. No longer safe and laden with questions, they embarked on a perilous journey, returning to their origins to unravel the mystery behind the contract. With purpose burning bright within them, our hero began a quest for truth, driven by destiny and bound by a legacy yet to be unveiled. Lowlands. Okay, so we must be playing as the so-called hero. Much older now than what he was in, during the story. Uh, looks like third person does not look like you can go into first person strictly third um, C brings up the codex probably showing uh, okay lo uh, flex log stone and wood um, B is for building okay so we need to gather wood and stone to build a basic fire and then we have a shack that has flex and wood Okay, so we want to, I guess we want to set up our camp first. First thing we got to do is 
harvest stuff. Let's. Okay, I don't have a tool for that yet. Can't zoom in on the character either. It's strictly where it is. I would think those would be like flex, but it's not showing. How are we supposed to get wood if we can't get... Hmm. Unless we can make a wood tool. Oh, here, what we got? Oh, that's... Let's see if we can do something with the... Let's see, we need to make... Shack. I don't know how to make tools. Tab? No, how do I? Okay, I is our inventory. First, can we put a, maybe put a stone in our hand? We got our abilities. Is there... Oh, it must gradually grow as we do them instead of appointing... points to it. See, we need to be able to make something to cut, but I'm sh not sure how to make a tool. Let's see, talk to the elder. We've got to figure out how to make a tool. Let's see, is there a, like a guide showing what we do to build? Controls, let's see, primary attack, secondary action, kicking, interact, harvest, F is interact, movement army command so we can make have an army that's cool inventory build map quest notification codex so the build menu doesn't look like you can make a tool from it though pebbles. We could pick up all the pebbles in the world. I'm wondering if we have to go talk to this person to get, maybe to get a tool? Flowers like that you would think would make would be for flex. I'm going to crush you with one here. Bookseller. Good day, bold warrior. really a fan of not being able to zoom in. I want to be able to get down closer. Hmm. Now, 
is there like a shopkeep maybe that Let's see if maybe like this Hold guy right there traveler you look like you have something worth taking oh there's an axe but I can't take it It's got like a little tool thing above it. I gotta find somebody that I. Oh, here's a merchant. Okay, what do you have today? See you again. Okay, uh, but I have no gold. Can I sell him rock? can't really sell rocks. Do I have... I don't even have any of these things to sell. I want to buy stuff, but I don't have any cash. So that we can get the axe, but the problem is, is I, I can't get any wood or anything without a tool. Tool required. Logs, flex. Okay, it's like a purple flower. Fiber in the lowlands grows mostly in the forest. Wood uh, found on the ground in piles, sticks, driftwood, chopped trees. And so I might be able to find like piles of sticks that I can actually pick up. They all require tools. It's not, oh, here we go. Weapons. I don't need any more pebbles. Now like these bushes, I should be able to grab from them. Let's run down here and see if there's uh oh, we can see if we have fall damage. <laughs> Did I hear a wolf? Oh, driftwood. Okay. Okay, good. Saplings. We're just not in the right spot. Let's take a look at the map so you can kind of tell where we're at. Um, this must be the community I was just at. And we're down in this section here. Let's take a look at the map. It's fairly large. Oh, am I out of space? I am. Now, can we, let's see, dry up. Drag and drop. Uh, let's see, quick coin purse. Build yourself a shack. Okay. Um, I kind of want to be down in this area because this is where it seems to have a lot of the resources we're going to need. Is this a river over here or a road? A road. 
How about we'll build it right here? We'll see, I don't, I don't think I have any flex, no. Let's construct a fire. Kind of a neat building. Now add carp. So we must have to do. Okay, we got our fire going. Now we must have to hunt. See, we need flex though. Let's see if we can find some. There's some right there. Sage. Yeah, you just have to make sure you find the, the correct area. Not sure what the sage is going to be for yet. And now is it stacking? It's not. It's all individual spots. I'm not a real fan of that either. These should be able to be stacked. Okay, B, we want to make a camp. Okay, build, a, build ourselves a house. We have to have each of these different. Okay, that's the loot that I dropped. I don't really need. Can we drop this? Oh yeah, it kind of it gives you an idea of some stuff that's in your area. I need more wood. full okay so we upgrade our harvesting Whew, it takes a lot it's kind of a deep building feature I didn't think I had that much wood on my in my inventory. Oh, 
stuff that's more wood. Oh, new uh, building. Well, this might be flexed down here. Yeah, okay. Gotta look for the purple flowers. Looks like there's another campfire over that way. Oh, not sage. I don't want more sage. Let's drop the sage because we don't really want that right now. We'll keep two on us just in case. We can find all the rocks we ever want anywhere. Okay, let's get some more flex. Ooh, drop bag. Oh, <laughs> it's my drop bag. customize your character. I just didn't this time around because I just wanted to kind of get into the into the game. I'm wondering if once we have a camp if we'll be able to then produce like a workbench to be able to build tools and stuff. You can still run even when you're full. Oh. But he does get tired. That's pretty cool. You can see it adding each each level. Okay, the shack will provide a place to sleep along with access to crafting, workbench, and basic recipes. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Let's see if we can go in there and sleep now. Oh, there's our case. Okay, so we can throw some of this stuff inside the case. Hopefully it'll stack. No, shoot. Can we, okay, we can pick how many, oh, just one. <laughs> tab okay now we can with tab we can build so let's let's build the workbench uh, let's see recipes we have a club an axe so we need stone and wood for the axe but I'm gonna see if I can sleep yet let's sleep okay so we can sleep until the morning Doesn't look like anything else is interactive. Don't really know what I'm using this for yet, so let's keep that in our inventory. Or our inventory box. Keep a couple of the... Oh, that's, that's kind of neat. It organizes it. And we don't know about the straw yet. That'll open up some space for us so we can do more building. Okay, build a shack, uh, talk to the elder. 
Okay, so now our goal is we have to go talk to the other elder. Okay, we can we can like click through what we can cook. I wonder No, no, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Let's uh run up and talk to the other person. And it does show on our map, which is nice. Oh. Simple workbench. Now I wonder if we have to Oh it does. Now if we put this stuff in here, it might make so that we can craft stuff then. And it does stack. I wish I would do that in our inventory, but... Okay, let's see. Now... Simple workbench. Select a recipe. Pair available. Simple axe. Oh, so now I put that inside the workbench. Oh, maybe now. Split. Take all. Okay, well, let's try crafting. Okay, I could do a club. I need two more wood. I don't know if I put any wood in here or not. No, I did not. Let's let's grab some more wood before we head to the next location. There should be some laying around here. Okay, that's our two wood. I'm just gonna grab a couple more. Okay, now we can craft an axe. Is that doing two of them? I don't want two. thinking we might need a club too so we're gonna build that okay now let's see we can okay we can move it to our those are our slots and a torch I'm not gonna build a torch right now unless yeah let's do it might as well see what each of these things is for Even though it's daylight now, but we can have it on us. Oh, guess we can't put it in there. So we'll just what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw the torch in our inventory box here. Okay, it takes up two slots, so. So this must be kind of like a worker to manage craft open storage. Okay, so this is basically just a storage. Will it stack? Yes, okay. It's just an extra little storage spot that you can utilize. Okay, let's try the axe once. See how the trees fall. Okay. Death. In this world, not terminal. Now, do we have to chop this? Okay, now we have to cut the big branch into logs.
Oh, you have to cut every single one of them. Huh. It's caught on it. Let's try going farther down. sure exactly what we're going to be able to use the logs for yet and we'll see how much inventory oh wow yeah it takes up a lot so if we're not needing let's take a look at our build menu let's see what we have we've got housing tent and a shack stockpile let's take a look at the stockpile can we do we have the resources or the room right here okay what are we gonna need so we need a bunch of flex Okay, you can double click them and take them into your inventory or put them back. Okay, that's nice. to we can always continue building later I'm not sure how far the demo actually goes this is basically just kind of trying it out Okay, hmm. that's the merchant. And this this is the guy that we had talked to before. Don't talk to Oh, I wanna take the weapon out of our hand. Tell me more about, uh, do you need my help? Okay. Cool. So I gained a little more now. Oh, well, I've got to talk to a whole bunch of different people. Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode right there before I get into all this talking to people and stuff. Uh, we do have a lot more to do on the building and stuff. The game looks like it has problems. Let me promise. Let me know uh, what you think of it so far. Um, and if it, if you're interested to see, you know, a little continued episodes in it or not, or do you just want to wait until it comes out and then possibly do some more episodes when I, if I get the game, depending on how reviews are, are of the game and stuff like that. But so far it looks fairly promising. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.